from a alien scientist perspective, if you were to look back on Earth, is there something interesting you could say about Earth? Like, how would you summarize Earth? Like in a report, you know, like uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Like, if you had to report, like, write a paper on Earth, like, or like a letter, like a like a one pager. Um, summarizing the contents of the surface in the atmosphere. Is there is there something interesting? Like, do you ever take that kind of perspective on it? I know you like volcanism, so volcanoes, that'll probably be in the report. I, I was going to say, that's where I was going to go first. Uh, there are a few things to say about the atmosphere, but in terms of the volcanoes, so one of the really interesting puzzles to me in planetary science is so we can we can look out there and we've been talking about surfaces and volcanoes and atmospheres and things like that but that is just you know this tiny little veneer on the outside of the planet and most of the planet is completely sort of inaccessible to telescopes or to spacecraft missions you can drill a meter into the surface but you know that's still really the veneer um and one of the cool puzzles is looking at what's going on on the surface and trying to figure out what's happening underneath or just any kind of indirect means that you have to study the interior because you can't dig into it directly. Even on Earth, you can't dig in deep into Earth. Uh, so from that perspective, looking at Earth, um, one thing that you would be able to tell from orbit, given enough time, is that Earth has tectonic plates. So you would see that volcanoes follow the edges. If you trace where all the volcanoes are on Earth, mm -hmm. they follow these lines that trace the edges of the plates. And similarly, you would see things like the uh, Hawaiian string of volcanoes that you could infer, just like you know we did as people actually living on Earth, that the plates are moving over some plume that's coming up through the mantle. And so you could use that to say, if the aliens could look at where the volcanoes are, are happening on Earth and say something about the fact that Earth has plate tectonics, which makes it really unique in the solar system. Oh, really? Um, so the other planets don't have plate tectonics? It's the tectonic? only one that has plate tectonics, yeah. Well, what about Io and the, the friction and all that that's not plate tectonics? What's the difference between... So, oh, it's plate tectonics, like another layer of like solid rock that moves right. around and there's exactly. cracks. Yeah, so, so Earth has plates of solid rock sitting on top of a partially molten layer and Whoa. those plates are kind of shifting around. Um, on Io, it doesn't have that and the volcanism is what we call heat pipe volcanism. It's the magma just punches a hole through the crust and comes out on the surface. I mean, that's a simplification, but that's effectively what's happening. Through the freezing cold crust. Yes. Very cold, very rigid crust, yeah. How, do you, how does that look like, by the way? I don't think we've mentioned, so the gas that's expelled, like if we were to look at it, does it look beautiful or does it look boring? The gas? Like the whole thing, like the the magma punching through oh the, my gosh. the icy. Yes, I'm sure it would be beautiful. And the pictures we've seen of it are beautiful. You have, so the, the magma will come out of the lava, will come out of these fissures, and you have these curtains of lava that are maybe even a kilometer high. So if you've looked at videos, I don't wow. know how many volcano videos you've looked at on Earth, but you sometimes see a tiny, tiny version of this in Iceland. You see just these sheets of magma coming out of a fissure when you have this really low um, viscosity magma, sort of water-like coming out at these yeah. sheets. Um, and the plumes that come out, because there's no atmosphere, um, all the plume molecules are just, or plume particles, where they end up is is just a function of the direction that they left the vent. So they're all following oh. ballistic trajectories. Um, and you end up with these umbrella plumes. You don't get these sort of complicated plumes that you have on Earth that are occurring because of how that material is interacting with the atmosphere that's there. You just have these huge umbrellas. And it's been hypothesized, actually, that so the atmosphere is made of sulfur dioxide and that you could have these kind of ash particles from the volcano and the sulfur dioxide would um, condense onto these particles and you'd have sulfur dioxide snow coming out of these volcanic plumes. And uh, there's not much light though, right? So you wouldn't be able to, like it would make a good, it would not make a good Instagram photo because you have to, would you see the snow? Sure, there's light, it depends. 
Oh, okay, so you could you could still okay. Depends what angle you're looking at it, where gotcha. the sun is, all the things all right. like that. You know, the sunlight is much weaker, but it's still there. It's still there. And uh, how how big is Io in terms of gravity? Is is it smaller? Is it a pretty small moon? It's quite a bit smaller than Earth, anyway. It's smaller yeah. than Earth. Okay. Okay, cool. So they float float out for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it floats. Wow. They yeah. No, you're right. That would be that would be that would be gorgeous. Um, uh, what else about Earth is interesting besides volcanoes? So plate tectonics, I, I didn't realize that that was a unique element of a planet in the solar system. Because uh, that, I wonder what, I mean, we experience it as human beings. It's quite painful because of earthquakes and all those kinds of things. But I wonder if there's nice features to it. Yeah, so coming back to habitability again, um, things like tectonics and plate tectonics are, are thought to play an important role in a surface being habitable. And that's because you have a way of recycling material. So if you have a stagnant surface, everything, you know, you use up all the free oxygen, everything reacts until you no longer have reactants that life can extract energy from. And so if nothing's changing on your surface, you kind of reach this stagnation point. Um, but something like plate tectonics recycles material. You bring up new fresh material from the interior, you bring down material that's up on the surface and, and that can kind of refresh your, your nutrient supply in a sense, or the, the sort of raw materials that, that the surface has to work with. So, um, from a kind of astrobiologist perspective, looking at Earth, you would see that recycling of material because of the plate tectonics. You would also see how much oxygen is in Earth's atmosphere. And between those two things, you would identify Earth as a reasonable candidate for a habitable environment. Um, in addition to, of course, the you know pleasant temperature and liquid water. Um, but the abundance of oxygen and the, the plate tectonics both play a role as well. 